Today, we are here also to announce a partnership that aims to build an ecosystem for green literature for young readers. As we launch the Green Lit Fest, I would like to invite Benedict Paramanan, editor of the e-magazine uh, Sustainability Next and founder of the Green Lit Fest to share, the, uh, share how this partnership came to be. I would also like to have uh, Radhika Suri, Director uh, Education, WWF India, and Megha Gupta from the Green Lit Fest. Before we begin, I would request Radhika to share how this partnership began and the reason why, why this partnership is so important for WWF India. Over to you, Radhika. Yeah, thank you, Neha. Um, like I said um, earlier, for WWF India, publications are very key to communicate uh, about the mysteries of the environment, to capture the legacy of our planet. And uh, when Mega and Benedict came, uh, you know, wrote to us about a green literature fest, I mean, it was a perfect, you know, timing and it was, it was something that I think so was on our minds and none of us were kind of saying it. Uh, so it was a, it was such a welcome. Uh, we definitely need a festival to celebrate the beautiful books for adults, for children. And it's such a uh, you know, it's 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 going to be such a phenomenal uh, place where we will be able to spread awareness as well as have very interesting and thoughtful conversations too. So, I mean, there was no way it came. And I think so Benedict saw my email, which was like, yay, we were also thinking of this. This is just too good to be true. So we are at WWF are very, very happy and excited to partner with it. And over to you, Benedict and Mega. Thank you so much <coughs> for bringing it to WWF. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Radhika, uh, for this. And uh, uh, to begin with, I should uh, congratulate all the uh, authors whose books were launched today. And uh, I did really enjoy the uh, uh, panel discussion. Uh, Sohini, uh, Shobha, Krachi, and Mega did uh, moderate it uh, splendidly. Uh, thanks to uh, WWF for putting together this uh, <coughs> big book launch. Congratulations, Radhika. Okay, so I think for uh, GLF, uh, signing up a partnership with WWF is a big kicker, is a big boost. Uh, that we got and uh, we got this confidence that we should be able to make a difference. We should be able to go ahead and do what we want to do. Uh, before that, uh, we have been contemplating from Sustainability Next, how can we take the magazine itself to the next level? I think uh, although the content that is there in Sustainability Next is uh, pretty rich, but I think through literature space, uh, it would go more deeper and uh, have a much wider <clears throat> conversation. Um, yeah, so there are a few aspects which got us to really uh, launch this Green Literature Festival. The first one is that <laughs> uh, India has so many uh, uh, literature festivals. Today, it even has literature festival for L LGBT community, literature festival for the army, literature festival in various cities, and uh, for dance and for music. So uh, I guess this should have been, should have started much earlier, but I guess uh, no time is the right time. So uh, it's uh, good that we are starting now at a great note and at no better time to launch along with uh, I think one of the world's greatest uh, organizations, uh, WWF. Yeah. So uh, why did we start? So uh, two, three uh, huge motivations. One is that there's a shrinking space for dialogue and debate in India. So we need to provide a platform for not just uh, informative uh, knowledge sharing, but also uh, well nuanced uh, and deeper conversations, platforms for such. Uh, yeah, we need to provide these platforms. So, uh, yeah, and we want to do that. We want to be a robust platform for that. Uh, 
and uh, today good thing is there's enough and more good body of work that uh, exists in india for us to have a pretty robust uh, uh, literature festival and of course the uh, uh, basic reason why we wanted to start this is to uh, promote green literature fest and uh, uh, make it much more accessible and also fun not just very serious as it is today and uh, make it accessible that is uh, uh, one of our biggest uh, objectives uh, today i think uh, it is literature is there but not many have access to it i think the digital uh, world will help us to have gain more access i think for that reason we need to expand our uh, medium not just books but also through uh, theater but also through uh, say audio books through podcasts through uh, various mediums so uh, glf we just don't want to focus only on the books books are important but uh, all other uh, spaces that we want to occupy over a period of time mm. so let me quickly take you through uh, our website uh, just to share who our uh, advisors are who our team members are uh, who can help me do that share screen arna you should be able to share it benedict yeah 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 there you are but you haven't opened the website Mm. Where am I stuck? You need to open the website and then share screen. But Benedict, if you want, I can help you with that. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. Then stop sharing, Benedict. Yeah. So this is the pop up we uh, put up at the. Yeah. So. Uh, i think i quite like the slider that uh, we have uh, put together where we capture various uh, books from various uh, elements of uh, uh, green literature uh, both indian international and children as well and uh, just trying to go up yeah so i think our mission vision is uh, pretty clear that uh, we want to work with everybody in the ecosystem uh, to uh, uh, enrich it and uh, take it forward um, can we go down uh, yeah yeah so we we'll go down okay so i'll just go to about can we yeah so uh, these are the three uh, eminent partners that we have and very happy that terry has agreed to be part of our uh, uh, partner list and tamala is a, a very unique uh, uh, firm a social uh, business based in bangalore they work with uh, communities to uh, come up with uh, really good artistic products so uh, radhika and your team are going to see a Uh, example or the sample of it in the next one or two days. Yes, okay. we've already received it. Already so, received, is it? Yes. Oh, that, that's that's really good. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what we want to do uh, is that we have uh, three seg segments we want to focus on, uh, which is the general green uh, literature and green literature for sustainable business. uh that's because uh, sustainability next is heavily into business of uh, uh sustainability so we thought there's a natural connection there and of course a uh, large part the children part which mega will be uh, leading uh so uh, i think with this we'll be able to cover quite a good ground um can we go to the about about yeah so uh, no no the about uh, the team in about yeah team yeah so i'm quite happy and really proud that we have a very energetic uh, 
and uh, committed uh, uh, team members puja hula megha uh, devrati and uh, archana has just joined uh, and of course ganesh kirti our design support so uh, we've worked for the last 3 uh, 4 months to put this together and uh, we are sure we are going to uh, <laughs> work much more cohesively and uh, uh, take it forward yep uh, the advisors yeah please yeah so i mean very happy that we have been able to uh, attract uh, uh, these advisors to be part of our uh, journey and uh, jayram ramesh of course more, more not so much as a politician but as an author of a uh, green business so uh, i mean two of his uh, books are really interesting uh, no need to mention about zai whitaker she is quite a famous uh, personality in her space and uh, we have harini nagendra based in bangalore very very uh, uh, active uh, both a an author and a, an academic professor at azim prem ji university uh, uh radhika suri of course thank you radhika for joining us we look forward to your continued guidance and uh, uh last one yeah and uh, santosh uh, jayram uh, <clears throat> he's going to give us the uh, heavy heavy stuff on uh, climate change sustainability csr uh, that kind of content for our uh, festival so i think that's the uh, about uh, our website i'll just close with uh, uh saying that uh, i think with wwf our partnership has just begun and it's begun on a really good note and uh, we just that we have such good vibe such good uh, motivation we will work at we we'll evolve at how we partner and we're open to all ways of uh, partnering and uh, both our objectives missions are uh, common so th- we look forward to a really amazing partnership going forward mm. uh, i think i'll stop here and uh, uh, mega will take over from here and uh, present to us about <coughs> her uh, the, i mean about the children element of uh, glf thank you so much thank you uh, Neha, thank you, Radhika. Thank you, thank you, Bernadette. Thank you. I am not going to take up a lot of time because I know that we have some very interesting workshops and other things planned for young participants. So all I am going to say is, you know, the reason I am in GLF is because it brings together two of my lifelong pursuits: creating yet another platform. to uh, you know uh, promote indian children's writing and of course environmental literature so it's it's like a perfect marriage in that sort uh, you know in in that sense and that is why i'm here uh, wwf has you know been a pioneer in environmental education i know radhika we've had so many conversations 1970s the nature club movement how environmental education has evolved and yet you know you find that the space for environmental literature within this space is still fairly muted so i think wwf in in its wonderful publication divisions sort of books it's been bringing out many of which i've had the joy of reading and discussing with radhika and neha uh, you know uh, is 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 a, is a perfect partner in in uh, having that sort of uh, similar vision for children's literature and i'm going to be talking about children's literature even though uh, glf as a platform seeks to promote literature across different spectrums uh, you know sustainable business and also uh, the general adult trade books um i think what we are essentially trying to do at the heart of everything is to create a robust ecosystem of green literature for uh, the multiple stakeholders in this field from educationists to authors illustrators publishers ngos civil society leaders business leaders because you know as bijal's story in the beginning says you know it's just so important to promote literature to get people to even think about these things more seriously and it's so important to begin with the children so i am absolutely delighted to be leading the children segment of this festival uh, 
it's a small start to what will hopefully be a very, very long journey. So I am uh, with my fingers crossed and my toes crossed. You know, Benedict is always saying you forever have your fingers crossed, but you know, it's just my way of, you know, safeguarding the future for myself and for others. So I hope this small start to a long journey and it does really well. Uh, without further delay, big thank you to WWF India for partnering with Sustainability Next Screen Literature Festival. And a huge congratulations to all the authors, Arti, Mamta, the illustrator Divya George, uh, Prachi for her first book. You know, it's, uh, I hope uh, these books do really well for WWF, for the publishers, and uh, excited to see the forthcoming titles. Uh, Radhika, back to you. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations, everybody, on this launch, too. Yeah. Thank you.